Calvin for another four and a half star review. I am so far up Greg Araki's ass. <laughs> the letterboxed audience is obviously even the ones who hate the movie hate it in a very creative way, which is which is cool. Hello, I'm Greg Araki. I'm the director of the Doom Generation, and we're reading some reviews here. Okay, so the first one is from uh, Logan Kenny. I guess this is a good one. Uh, Extraordinary, a nightmarishly depraved, violent, and sexual film. The blood and cum emanates from every frame. This is kind of a uh, essay. <laughs> the aimlessness of the protagonist, drifting from place to place in this hellish world where everything is a decrepit wreck, inhabited with psychopaths with shotguns and new people to run from. They have each other, but soon that will end through violence or other means. This is America, a concoction of the worst traits of humanity, and in the end, the violence becomes all too real and scars linger inescapable <laughs> thank you logan kenny this person definitely seems to have gotten the movie this is another five star review no plot just vibes just horniness and red light <laughs> i would disagree and say there's also blue lighting and red light <laughs> but uh, another five star amy blue is my patrick bateman she's my travis bickle she is my joker she is my tyler durden you wouldn't get it I get it. Jess, a five star. The first 70 minutes. Oh my God. Gay teens having sex with an amazing soundtrack. How fun! Exclamation point. The last 10 minutes. I want to kill myself. <laughs> Uh, four and a half stars, uh, Charlie Nash. Some viewers will simply pass this off as a juvenile road movie, but it is truly a scathing indictment of the bigotry, homophobia, and misogyny that exists within American society. Agree there. Uh, Rocky's provocative subtext speaks volumes here and wields a brutal power that remains unfairly maligned to this day. And also, as the in credits state, buy the fucking soundtrack. I don't, I don't think you can buy it anymore, but you might be able to find a used copy. <laughs> like four stars from Saint Ten. He probably threw up while typing a heterosexual film by Gregor Rocky into the script. A producer came up to me and said, you make gay movies that gay people hate. And if you make a heterosexual movie, I'll get you real financing for it. I'll get you, um, you know, a, a decent sized budget. And I mean, it was under a million dollars, but it was still more money than I'd ever had. And so I said, OK. And so I um, wrote The Doom Generation and called it very tellingly a heterosexual movie in the way that Totally Fucked Up was a, a homo, another homo movie by Grand Rocky. But um, I purposely made it like the queerest straight movie <laughs> that could ever exist. And so the subtext of it is so ridiculously uh, homoerotic. I had this idea that the movie would be like a sort of a Trojan horse in the sense that it would appear on the surface to be a heterosexual movie, but deep down, super queer and subversive. Calvin, for another four and a half star review. I am so far up Greg Araki's ass. <laughs> the letterboxed audience is obviously even the ones who hate the movie hate it in a very creative way which is which is cool uh holly manda four stars damn bro you got the whole squad horny that's a wonderful review <laughs> watched with my girlfriend and we got pretty turned on until the nazi show <laughs> so i forgot where it, where it came from but somebody said this movie made me and my girlfriend so horny we had to go home and fuck immediately as soon as it was over and all that is absolutely the most amazing review anyone could ever ask for three and a half stars from tom DeBlanc. this is what listening to slow dive does to a mf motherfucker i guess yeah i listened to a lot of slow dive when i was writing the script karen three and a half stars where do they find these designer motels uh in my head <laughs> in my head and in uh the production designer is the late great therese de Press, and she was fucking a genius and could do anything on a uh, super tight budget and super tight schedule i mean i remember when we did the black on my check room we were like what are we going to do with the second motel after doing the the red motel and she had on her desk a postcard of like a bunch of black and white check things and I was like, let's do that. And so literally she hand painted the whole set. Like, it, I mean, it took her 
her and her crew forever to do that, but it's just fucking amazing. Three stars, Kenneth. Greg Araki writes dialogue like a 12 year old girl who just found out about her words. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I didn't eat this up. The bad reviews are great. <laughs> Indigo, three stars. Pulp Fiction directed by my penis. Uh, your penis is very talented. Emma, two and a half stars. This is the straightest thing Araki can come up with. I think that's a little bit sarcastic, so. <laughs> and quite, uh, I take that as a huge compliment. One and a half stars, Knock Need. Um, John Waters, Scott Pilgrim. Warren Sykes. Uh, one and a half stars. Hirola Food, directed by Derek Zoolander. This is like, you should put this one together with Knock Me. So, Pirola Food, Derek Zoolander, John Waters, Scott Pilgrim, all like in a pot. 0.5 stars uh, from Esha Pony. Pissed I let Tumblr screenshots trick me into thinking this movie would be good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I'm not really on like social media or, you know, just a lot of this stuff and but i hear that there's a lot of tumblr stuff about the movie and which is cool because there's a high demand for people who have only seen the movie on tumblr and now they can actually see an exciting new version except for poor esha pony who was disappointed with the movie one star jack d trick sex comma violence comma sex comma style comma blood comma cum comma sex comma drugs comma neon lights comma amy blue comma sex Comma cum, <laughs> comma blood, uh, comma drugs. Period. I hate Greg Araki. Well, Jack, I love your review, even if you hate me. Uh, that's it. So thanks to the Letterbox community for being so passionate about cinema, so passionate about the Doom Generation. Um, I super enjoyed reading all of those reviews. Bad, good, in the middle. Uh, everybody. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs>